Maybe, may we hear from the uh, Chairperson Polido Tan for your inputs, ma'am. Uh, after you've heard that your uh, technical, technical specialist, special audit specialist do not even know if uh, a car, a, a, a parking floor is more expensive than a, or is less expensive than an office floor. Uh, thank you very much, Your Honors. Uh, yes, I am getting very embarrassed, uh, but I don't think that it's really fair to put the onus on the COA because this is the system that they have been uh, working on from the very beginning, long even before uh, when I came in in 2011. Kaya naman po, uh, uh, isa sa aming priority program sa COA ay yung pagkapacity sa aming technical people. But as uh, we have experienced, it is something very difficult to do because uh, the matter is very technical. At kaya rin naman pong sinabi ko noong unang pagdinig na rinireview po talaga namin ang kanilang ginawa dahil uh, sa cursory uh, na observations namin so far, marami na rin po kaming katanungan, marami po sa mga tanong na yan ay tinatanong ngayon dito at marami rin po kaming uh, uh, mga nakita mismo dun sa kanilang inspection report. At this juncture, Your Honors, if I may, I would just like to point out some. No, na, ito galing sa kanila but they did not uh, mention. No, uh, in uh, in Yung observation po na yung faces, no? One of the difficulties really, why we don't even can get sense of these things at all, is that the faces are not defined. Ano ba yung face one na yan? Structural ba yan? Ano yung face two na yan? Outfitting ba yan? Ano ang face three na yan? Yan ba eh, uh, finishing ba yan? We don't know. We don't know. And I don't know we uh, uh, kung ano yung kanilang mga inevaluate na mga specs for each of these phases but let me just point uh, some examples no doon sa phase 2 ito po ay inspection report ng aming technical people ang sinabi nila dito sa report it includes structural works from ground floor to 11th floor sa phase 2 pa lang po yun. But then we also note that in all of the five phases, merong component na structural work. So ilang ulit ba tayong nag-structural work? You know, pwede po natin itanong yan. And then also in phase two, there were items of work that were deleted. Example, elevator machine room, parapets, concrete gutter, bench, plant box, structural steel works, uh, architectural works like masonry at basement to six floors, uh, wall for elevator shaft, and so forth and so forth. So on. Marami po ito, do. But what is here is there is no change in contract cost affected in spite of all these deletions. We don't know how much the value of these deletions are because they are not specified. Tapos po noong phase three. Kasi ho, may inspection report after every phase, ano? And this is from our audit, uh, our technical, our engineers. Ang sabi ho, phase 3. Though the project is already habitable and ready for use, general cleaning of the whole premises is necessary. In the meantime, final decision on the matter is left on the agency head. Ang aming po mga engineers mismo, nakita nila sa kanilang inspection, kasi nag inspection naman sila, na pagkakumpleto ng phase 3, no, and this was after spending about 1.5 billion, project habitable na and ready for use. And yet, nagkaroon ng phase 4 and phase 5 na kung saan nag-appropriate ang city of Makati ng more than 1 billion pa rin. So, kung nung phase 3 pa lang, as our, audit, our, our, our engineers found out, habitable and ready for use, magkano na lang kaya dapat ang naidagdag? No? Bakit uh, may 1 point something billion pa na na-appropriate after this phase? So, I am just uh, throwing these questions 
Because these are the same questions that we are asking. When when they stated it's already habitable, tayo na yung 10 floors, is that the meaning of that uh, phrase or, or uh, sentence? Na nakatayo na po yung entire 10 floors uh, above ground? Mukhang yung... ganun po eh, kasi nakalagay nga, so... dito project. Huh? Is already yeah. habitable. Uh, can we ask them, ma'am? Can, uh, who? Yeah. Diba, the, the, um, those uh, the, those observations the, came from them, right? Yes, this is so, from uh, Roldan Menciano and his no, yeah. Roberto Ferrer, and it was reviewed by Nemesh, Nemesio of Estrus. So, who, who among our uh, technical <clears throat> audit specialists can uh, can clarify that uh, sentence? This was in 2011. 2011 po yun. So, eh, ang ibig bang, ito, ang gusto ko lang ang ibig bang sabihin nun ay pagdating po sa physical uh, na 10 floors ay buo na ba yun? Uh, Engineer Menciano? Actually, buo na yung iba. Doon na items of work na kasama po dito sa dito sa face na ito po. Yun lang po ang ibig na may okay, Ang ibig mong sabihin, uh, nagdagdag pa ba ng floors after yung finding na yun that it is habitable o hindi na? Nang... Nagdagdag pa ba ng floors? Yes. Nagdagdag pa ba sa physical yes. structure? Yes, yes. Ibig sabihin, tum 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 tumaas pa ba yung building after that uh, finding that it is already habitable? Mayroon po, yung rock leak po. Kasama po. Kasi from 10 floor yan, nagdagdag ng another floor, 11 floor, and then nagdagdag ulit ng rock leak. Uh, teka muna, hindi. Kasi <laughs> talaga, we really have to do this ocular because ang alam ko, 10 floors above ground. That is the... Plus po. one basement. Yeah, plus one basement. So, 10 floors lap sa... Sa above ground po, 10 floors lang po talaga mabibilang natin. Hindi po. Uh, mayroon po... There is an 11th floor? Uh, yeah, so do you confirm this, Engineer De La Peña? There is an 11th floor above ground? Para klaro. 11th floor? Uh, Mike's, Mike's, Mike, Mike. 11th floor plus roof deck. Ground okay. floor has a mezzanine. And base, one basement. One basement. One basement. So we, we really have to conduct an ocular so that we will uh, see this structure. So, ganun po yun. At least sa, sa opinion ninyo, nag, after after that finding, nagdagdag na at least one floor, no? Yes. Kaya okay. po, mayroong floor structural po, so, uh, you know, no, kaya po, mayroong structural na item sa phase 3. No. Kasi ito po yung uh, roof deck at saka 11 floor. Mr. Chair, can I clarify that? Yes. No? Uh, okay. So, yung 1.2 billion, gawa na yung basement, mezzanine, hanggang 10th floor. Yung, una, yung 1.2 billion, phase 1 and 2. Uh, Your Honor, uh, let me clarify this, no? Yung uh, sinasabing 1.2, hindi namin po alam yon. pero basta sa phase 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, ang trabaho po doon ay mayroong mga wrapping ins lang. So, ibig sabihin, so, sir, patap... sabi nyo, phase 1 and 2, binabasa ni ma'am, ni chairperson, inhabitable pero madumi, no? So, or kailangan cleaning, no? Yun ang interpretation ko. So, nung tinignan nyo yung, sinong gumawa ng phase 2? So, sir, Sa phase 2, hanggang anong floor na ang gawa nun? Hanggang 10th floor. 10th right. floor, okay. So, nung uh, 11th floor at roof deck, 1 billion siya. In other words? Uh, Your Honor, yung sa phase 2, puro structure lang po. Yes, yes. Beams, uh, columns, and okay. uh, slabs. Okay, sige. A anyway, ma'am, let me just respond you saying that you're being embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. Why? Because you are not COA. You are the chairman of COA and you're trying to reform COA, but there are a lot of people in COA. Number two, Rome was not made in a day. Ito nga building na to, anim na taon eh. No? Pangatlo, ma'am, eto mga engineer na to, i-grill man namin dito, nagmamalasakit sila sa bayan. Kasi ma'am, magkano sweldo na sa'yo? 40 to 50,000 a month. Ang mga kaklase nila na sa fiber sector, baka 3, 4, 500 a month. At sila po, binigyan lang natin ilang linggo i-review to, pero yung mga private engineers na gumawa ng building na to, ilang buwan sa mataas na sweldo. So I'm fully aware that uh, you're making sacrifice at sinunod nyo yung COA rules, no? But just like Commissioner Heidi Mendoza, who woke up one day and saying, I'm not going to stand for these rules. I'm going to make my findings. Bahala na kung sinong magalit sa akin, no? But, but anyway, ma'am, let, let me wrap up, no? Sino familiar sa building management system? Sino po sa mga taga-Makati? Kasama to sa presyo eh. Vice dun sa 1.2 billion ba kasama yung BMS dun? Do you remember how much the price of the BMS at that time? Hindi masyado yung detalye. Hindi, okay. hindi ko ka masyadong matanda. Pero yung nakita ko sa papel ng COA, 
do sa report parang 75 million. Okay. Totoo ba Engineer De La Peña or uh, Madam uh, former Administrator De Vera? Yung unang presyo ng BMS was 75 and then yung final is 160. Tama po ba yan? In honor, please, please, I cannot give you the exact number because I don't have the document. Ma'am, ba't hindi nyo dinala? Eh, kaya nga kayo nandito eh. It's with Engineer oh, De La Peña, Engineer De La Peña. Honor, Totoo bang originally 75 million lang tapos ginawang 160 million ang BMS? Hindi po, sir. It... Yun po, sir, na 75 million na sinasabi, yun po yung mga roughing ins. Yun pong equipment, hindi po kasama dun so, sa magkano po ang BMS ninyo? Po. So, ang total po niya, yung appropriation is 160. Okay, yun ang nagastos. Uh, siguro po ang pwedeng sumagot po dun sa, uh, kasi PR po yun, as sa uh, equipment, hindi po sa construction. Okay. Yun pong sa GST po namin. Sige. Ma'am, sa GST, sino po ba nandun? Mr. San Gabriel, magkano yung total sa BMS? Sir, uh, ako sa uh, engineer line point to that 160, yes sir. Kung sa private sector ngayon, magkano ang ordinaryong BMS? Actually, sir, I, I have no idea. Ay, paano mo alam na hindi overpriced? Uh, sir, nagre-rely lang din kami dun sa engineering. Ay, kakasabi lang po niya na kayo nakakaalam eh. Sino nakakaalam sa inyong dalawa? Wag, baka mamaya ako pa maturo dito. Paki-sort out. Do you need a few minutes to meet on it or what? Sir, ang sinabi ko po, yung with regards to civil wars, yun po yung nasa amin. Okay, MBMS. So, so yung pong procurement po ng mga equipment, dun po yun pumasok Sige sa Sige po, ma'am. Pero tinatanong ko lang yung BMS. Sino in charge ng BMS? Sino makakasagot sa akin tukol sa BMS? Yes. May mga items kasi special. Ano po yan, sir? So, Kaya kailangan may sa... IT. Ano po yan? Kasi kasama hindi, po yun. Hindi, ma'am. Binid out nyo yan na buo eh. Yes, sir. Buo yung BMS eh. Huwag na nating Opo. anuhin yan. So, kung kotse, buong kotse yan. Hindi lang yung aircon ng kotse. Hindi hiwalay binili yan. Ang binili yung system, isang system. So, gusto ko magtanong sa system. Pero kung pwede lang, di ba eh, sabi ni Vice President, kaya na ng mga tao kung magpaliwanag yan. Kaya wag na daw siya ipatawag. So, pwede bang may sumagot sa akin sa BMS? Kanino ako pwede magtanong sa BMS? Do you need time to confer with each other? Vice Mayor? Vice uh, Mayor, yes, please. Uh, Nabid po kasi yan eh, noong 2009. Ito pa kayo, no? Andong pa ho. Oh, ako Nabid ho yan for 75 million. Kaya lang, hindi po naapirmahan yung uh, award at saka yung final contract. Kaya kung darating po si Engineer Hechanova, o sa record ay eh, kukunin po ng Bichan Award at ilalabas po nila yung bidding noong 209 na bid po yan for 75 million lamang dahil sa hindi po naapirmahan yung final contract noong nawala na po ako sa City Hall ibinigay po nila sa ibang kontraktor kaya ang makakasagot po ng tama dyan yung dokumento ng pagkakabid noong 2009 Thank you Vice Excuse me, sino po si Engineer Echanova? Siya po ang head ng GSD noong time na yun. Ah, okay. So, take note of that. Hmm. So, I apologize, Mr. San Gabriel. Just tell me kung hindi ikaw ah. yung nandun during that period so that malinaw naman. I, we don't want Mario. to... I think it's a Mario Echanova. Tama. So, Mr. San Gabriel, hindi kayo yung nandun yung time na yun? Nag-start po ako ng August of uh, okay. 2010. Do, does your office have the records for this? Uh, we have, yes, we have. Okay. Sino nagpapatakbo ngayon ng BMS? Sinong in charge nito? Uh, it's si, a do, do you have a building administrator in the car, in the building car park? Is it the general services? It's Sino pong ano nito? Engineering, sir. Engineering. So, Ma'am De La Peña, kayo pa? Sa office po na BMS at sa kapulang. Yung pong aming maintenance. Okay. Ano so, po ang ang nakokontrol ng BMS nyo? Is it the basic BMS na fire alarm at elevators lang? Or is it the more high-tech na uh, pati yung lights, pati yung aircon, CCTV na kokontrol niya? Which of the two kinds of BMS siya? Yung lahat po. Yung lahat? So may CCTV po yan? Meron po. I ilan sa buong building? No? Sir, hindi ko po okay. masasagot sa ngayon. Kasi But yung ang... elevator, dalawa lang na? No? Okay. Yung lights at aircon yan, centralized o bawat floor? Nakokontrol ng BMS yung lights? Yung lights, oh. Lights, hindi. 
hindi ko sir masyado aircon per floor ba inoon din yun kasi ang ibang opisina okay. po yung kasi just to let you know uh, tama si Vice Mayor 75 million more or less is the higher end na dapat nakokontrolado na lahat that's why we're sort of surprised bakit 160 million kasi marami kaming nakausap between 50 to 100 million uh, 30 floors lahat yon merong uh, uh, anti-fire lahat yon may 8, 10 elevator e sa inyo dalawa lang eh pero doble ang presyo ng BMS nyo no? so baka next hearing ma paliwanag nyo yan so just to wrap up Vice Mayor, can I, can I, after sorting out the price, no, and I think it justifies your, kung kanina nagtatanong ka, ba't nagdagdag ng 1 billion, yung pa rin ang tanong ko ngayon, no. But Vice, pakiulit mo lang, baka kasi, kasi sabihin ng iba, siyempre, Mayor, Vice Mayor, pero gano'n ka-close ba talaga kayo ni Vice President? Kailan ba kayo nagsimula? 1988 ba kayo? Kailan ka, nung naging konsel, kailan kayo nagsimula maging magkaibigan? 1986 po eh, magkakilala kami pero hindi kami magkaibigan. Magkakilala lang po kami, nagkaroon lang po, naging magkalapit lang po kami nung eleksyon na ng 1988. Magkakilala kami pero hindi po kami ganun ka-close. Nung po ang nagkaroon ng eleksyon ng 1988, ako ay na-assign kay former Vice Mayor Conchitina Bernardo. Ako ho ang naatasang samama sa kanya sa kampanya dahil ho si former Vice Mayor Conchitina Bernardo noong time na yun eh, hindi bihasang magtagalog. Kaya parang ako ho ang gumabay kay Conchitina Bernardo na time. Ano ho pala nangyari kay Vice noon? Nag nawala no? Nag-resign ba or something? After one year po, nag-resign siya. Ano ang statement niyo noon? Naalala niyo po ba? Although ah. magkaibigan pa kayo ni VP noon. Tama po ba na ang statement niya noon, hindi niya matake ang corruption ni Binay kaya siya nag-resign? Sa Jerry, o college ako nung time na yon. Naalala ko pa. ang sulat na pinadala niya sa ating former president Cory Aquino. Okay. So it is an actual letter that she sent way back at that time. No? Opo. Pero I've talked to you several times uh, as a colleague, no? Dati ang konsehal sa Makati, and you have always been proud, no, of Mayor Binay, of all your projects in Makati and of Makati. In fact, hindi lang natin pinag-uusapan yung fort dahil magkaiba tayo ng stand on. Pero you have always been proud, di ba, of your relationship and all you have done in Makati. Totoo po. Okay. And that is why medyo hirap sa yung magsalita or nakikita ko, you want to answer us directly but you don't want to betray confidences nung... Kung baga, ganun kayo ka-close na para mong, pag nagsalita ka dito, para mong sinabi yung usapan yung magkapatid o usapan yung magtatay or something like that. Tama po ba? Tama po, sa totoo lang po, kaya ako nahihirapan ding magsalita. So, so, Idol ko ho si BP Binay, sa totoo lang. Sa kanya ko ho natutunan nung bagong mayor niya hanggang 1998, yung lahat ng prinsipyong natitira sa akin ngayon. Sa kanya ko ho narinig yung pare, basta dito ang mayor, ako lang ha, hindi kasama asawa ko. Hindi kasama ang mga anak ko. Yun ho ay natanim sa isip ko, kaya nga nung Nagsalita rin ako sa asawa ko ng ganun eh, nabato ako ng, ng unan eh. Dahil ang sabi sa akin, kaya bang mo naman? Eh kasi po yung prinsipyo na ako lang din ang vice mayor, in-apply ko din horo sa misis ko na kung meron man lalapit sa yung iba, eh huwag mo akong ikukompromiso. Ikaw ang pinakamalapit na tao sa akin dahil tayo ang magkatabing natutulog sa gabi, pero huwag kang sasagot ng oot, hindi. Ang isasagot mo ay eh, kakausapin ko ang asawa ko muna kung pwede o hindi. Natutunan ko po sa kanya yung prinsipyo na yun. Hanggang hunas sa nagkahiwalay po kayo, nagbago ba yung prinsipyo na yun? O... Ako po, hindi nagbago eh. Ganun pa rin po ang prinsipyo ko hanggang ngayon. Dahil sa totoo lang po, uh, nanghihinayang po ako talaga kay Vice President. Eh. Kung naging, Vice Pre naging Presidente po si Mayor Binay ng 86 hanggang 1998, naniniwala po akong siya ang magiging pinakamagaling natin presidente o isa sa magiging magaling natin presidente sa totoo lang po. Bakit ano, Vice? Anong kaibahan nung Binay circa 86 to 90, 98 at saka yung Binay 98 to present? I mean, kung papayagan mo lang ako, alam kong mahirap or if you... I, I, alam mo, people expect me to ask hard questions eh. If you need time, can ask you next time but kung mapagbibigyan mo ako, Ba, ano ba kaibahan ni Binay ng 90, 
88 to 98 at iba yung sinasabi mong kung noon siya naging presidente. Bakit? Kung sa 2016 siya maging presidente, hindi ba magaling pa rin? Hindi ko na po... Ako, personally, hindi na po ako naniniwala doon eh. Kasi nawala po yung aming prinsipyo noong uh, 98 na si Dr. Rabina ay maging mayor sa Makati. Tapos bumalik po kami ng 2001. Yung pong mga aming pinangarap, yung aming mga pinlano, Unti-unti na hong nalilihis doon sa landas na dapat namin daanan. Kaya, uh, yun ho ang nangyari. Kaya kita din na sa ganitong usapan na uh, vice, kung nanood, nanood ka nung unang hearing na? Nanood po. Nakita mo yung binasa kong COA report, yung manufacturer's price ng kama ng hospital bed 9,000, ang bili ng city of Makati 148,000. Manufacturer's price ng hospital cabinet, 2,200. Bili po ng Makati, 17,000. ICU bed, 34,000. Ang bili po ng Makati, 545,000. Orthopedics bed, 24,000. Ang bili po ng Makati, 480,000. Per ano po ito ha? Per, per bed. Ang calculation ko, it's about 100 million overpriced. No? At nakita ko po, kayo po ang pinadala sa exit conference sa COA. Kayo po ang pangalan na nagdoon nag, nagsasabi sa kanila. Tama po ba, Vice? Tama po. At i, hindi mo narinig sa akin to personally, Vice, nung minsan nakikita kita, but mahanga ako sa iyo doon kasi ang sinabi mo doon, correct me if I'm wrong, hindi ka pa nag-argue whatever. Sinabi mo, hindi, yan nasa record nyo eh. Nasa record nyo, galing sa manufacturer yan. O, so hindi ko na-argue yan na overpriced yan o hindi. Ang i-argue ko sa inyo, sino ba nag-bid niyan? ba diba? sa ospital na makat, sino ba nakapirma dyan? Hindi ba yung doktor? O bakit si Mrs. Binay ang iyong kakasuhan? Tama po ba until there, no? Tama po, kasi po ang naging ano ko doon sa exit conference na yon. Eh, itong aming mga doktor, sabihin na natin, parang nagkaroon ng pagkakulang. Eh. Kasi, in fairness so naman kay Dr. Binay, ang nangyari po rin eh, ang nasa dokumento ay eh, Mercedes-Benz eh. Ang nakadeliver po sa ospital eh, Kia, kia. Kaya, kaya doon ho sa exit conference, hindi ako makapag-argue. Kasi nakapag-inspeksyon na ho yung COA, nakita na talaga, pinakita sa akin. Eh, alam ko na nyo, ako, pag pinakitaan mo ako ng totoo, sasangayunan ko ron. Kasi yun po ang totoo. Kaya, so from that time on, Vice, hindi ka na ganun kasigurado na yung prinsipyo na siya lang mayor doon or may nagpapasok ng mga building man o equipment, yun po ba ang ibig mo sabihin sa amin? Noong ah, pampanahong yun, ang bakit mayor... Bakit mo nagbago? I mean, kung doktor lang naman pala ang may kasalanan eh. Noong pampanahong yun, si Dr. Rabinay po ang mayor namin noon. Uh, kaya, andun pa rin ho ako doon sa tabi ni Mayor Binay doon. Noong panahon yun. Nagkasama pa nga ho kami mula 1998 hanggang 20... Ah, mula 2001 hanggang 2010. Magkasama pa rin po kami. Kasi, Bayes, ang ano sa akin... Kasi po, di ba, nung naproklama kayo, 2475, Comembo, Rembo, Pembo, etc., naproklama sa amin, 2476, Signal Village, Upper, ganyan. So, kunsela ko, Vice Mayor ka, history, at ang usap-usapan sa tagig, ang secret weapon ni Mayor Binay ay si Vice Mayor Mercado. Mabait sa tao, galante yan, uh, mabusisi, pero... Parang bodyguard ni Mayor Bina yan, ngayong VP, pagdasing siya gastusan. Ibig sabihin, kung magpapalusot ka sa City Hall at overpriced yun, etc., gaganunin ka ni Vice Mayor Mercado. Yun ang kwento-kwentuhan sa amin or yung urban myths, etc. Was there any truth to that? Or anong role mo ba? You weren't an ordinary Vice Mayor, tama po ba? Tama po. Oh. At you, totoo po yun na... Marami pong uh, nagtampo sa akin, marami oh. nagagalit sa akin dahil pag oh, hindi tama yung transaksyon, kinokontra ko talaga eh. Talagang sinasabi ko, hindi pwede yan. So, intimate details of the dealings ng city, alam mo. But I'll stop there, uh, Vice, kasi uh, I, I want you to be able to think, to spend time with your family and then to ano, no. But, so, let me just clarify kasi kanina, nung nagtatanong si Senator Soto, Minority Leader, nalito din ako, no. So, sabi mo, Magiging hipokrito ka pag sinabi mong hindi ka nakinabang, no? Ang nakinabang meaning kumita dito sa building na to. Phase 1 and 
Ganon po ang ibig sabihin. No? Okay. Pinagaganda ko na lang po yung... Sige ano, po. Eh, uh, ngayon, sorry, kay, Vice, kay Vice President ngayon or kay uh, dating Mayor Binay, kumita din po siya. Ang sagot ko nga po ay katulad ng ako ay eh, Vice Mayor lang, eh, ala naman hong maniniwala pag sinabi kong hindi eh. Pero ang tinanong po ni, ni Senator Soto kanina, yung by conclusion mo. So, next time na ako magtatanong sa'yo ng details, at alam kong haharap ka naman sa media, sabi mo lahat sa sagutin mo, but can I just ask this? Yan ba ay conclusion, spekulasyon mo, or you know for a fact na kumita din siya dito? Yan po ang totoo. So you know it as a fact? Apa. Okay. Lastly, baka naman one time lang. Yan ba ay uh, one time lang sa building lang na to? Or sistema na ba yan sa Makati? Tag, pag meron, meron ka rin konti, meron din si Vice President. Yun naman po ang kalakaran eh. So yun ang sistema? Apa. So sorry ha, sinabi ko last pero mahilig talaga ako sa last. No? Yung pong bang building yun lang or may iba pang building na dapat naming tignan? Bigyan nyo lang kami ng tips. Ayoko para... pong lumabas ako dito ng tagaturo eh. Sige po. Uh, ma... Ay, hindi na lang o. Oh. Ulitin ko na lang yung sinabi ko po nung, nung huling hearing. No? May nilabas po ako dalawang dokumento. Ito po yung uh, supplemental budget na 3 billion mahigit na savings. No? Uh, na administrator, kailan po pinasa yun? And then there's another 5 billion. di ba? So, may mga nakalista doon. No? For example, no? let's say yung nursing building. May alam po ba kayo doon? No? Hindi. Minonitor nyo po ba po? After nyo kasing nawala sa Makati, eto po bang mga to minonitor nyo pa? Or wala na? Bahala Hindi na, na po. Hindi na masyado. Na anyway, na we'll, do our, we'll do our homework, uh, Vice Mayor. Pasensya ka na. But uh, we want to have leads and we want to give the Vice President all the opportunity to answer at this point, Mr. Chair, let me just put on record that we should give the Vice President an open invitation. I know may debate pa among us kung congressman o senador imbitahin. Remember, President Fidel V. Ramos, isang dahilan na lalo ko humanga sa kanya, noong time ni President Erap nagka-issue sa kuryente, he could have sent his, uh, his uh, Secretary of Energy Pero nag-insist siya. At sinabi ng mga senador noon, Mr. President, protocol po dito, hindi kami nag ng former presidents, etc. Sabi niya, no. This is my project. It's my name. Siya ang pinagbibit. I will answer this. no And let me assure you, Mr. Chair, as far as I'm concerned, I, I'm sure yourself, Senator Estrada beside you, Senator Estrada, and other senators will give all the courtesy and all the time to the Vice President. But so far, ang narinig ko pa lang sa hearing na to ano eh, Direktang accusation by some witnesses and then di ko alam pagdating sa representatives ng uh, Makati. Of course, there were some details, no, but it did not stand up to the standards ng uh, private sector. After this, I mean, even sa Facebook, ilan ang mga architect, quantity surveyor, ilan ang mga engineers ang may Facebook. At sila na nagko-comment sa kanya-kanyang project. And yun lang po, lastly, Mr. Chair, may I make this manifestation, no? The media has played a great, great role since the EDSA revolution in transforming our society. They did a great job on pork barrel. Kung hindi dahil sa media, may pork barrel pa rin. Eh, marami nagsasabing meron pa rin, nakatago lang. Pero still, I have to give that to media. But alam nyo po ang nagiging definition ng media ng fair ngayon. I-report yung sinabi niya at i-report yung sinabi niya. Hindi nagiging definition ng media ano bang totoo. So katulad na nabanggit ko kanina, E eh, Channel 7 at Channel 2, meron din naman palang building na malaki na recently new. So, alam din nila yung presyo. Pero kung hindi pwede yung anchor magsabi nun, get someone on air. At kung ayaw ibigay identity, pero kilala nyo, magsabi. Para kung mali kami, kung mali si Senator Trillanes sa kanyang resolusyon, kung si, Senate, kung si Vice Mayor uh, Mercado o si Attorney Bundal ay nagsisinungaling dito, let's crucify them. Crucify me. Pero kung totoo ang sinasabi nila, don't we owe it to them to say that in the construction industry, everyone knows that what you're saying is true? So what is fair is not necessarily what he said, what she said. What is fair is what is the truth. And in the end, Mr. Chairman, this is what we want to know in this committee. Thank you for this time. Maybe, may we hear from the uh, Chairperson Polido Tan for your inputs, ma'am. Uh, after you've heard that your uh, 
technical technical and specialist special audit specialist do not even know if a uh, a car a uh, uh, a parking floor is more expensive than a, or is l less expensive than an office floor uh, thank you very much your honors uh yes i am getting very embarrassed uh but i don't think that it's really fair to put the onus on the COA because this is the system that they have been uh, working on from the very beginning, long even before uh, when I came in in 2011. Kaya po isa sa aming isa sa aming priority program sa COA ay yung pagkapasiti sa aming technical people. But as uh, we have experienced, it is something very difficult to do because uh, the matter is very technical. At kaya rin na magkano na lang kaya dapat ang naidagdag, no? Bakit uh, may one point something billion pa na na-appropriate after this phase? So, I am just uh, throwing these questions because these are the same questions that we are asking. When when they stated it's already habitable, tayo na yung 10 floors. Is that the meaning of that uh, phrase or or uh, sentence? Na nakatayo na po yung entire 10 floors or uh, above ground. Mukhang ganun po eh kasi nakalagay nga, so, dito project huh? is already yeah. habitable. Uh, can we ask them ma'am? Uh, who yeah. that, 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 those uh, um, the, those observations the, came from them, right? Yes, this is so, from uh, Roldan Menciano is here, yeah. Roberto Ferrer, and it was reviewed by Nemesh, Nemesio of Estrus. So who, who among our uh, technical <coughs> audit specialists can uh, can clarify that uh, sentence? This was in 2011. 2011 po yun. So, ang ibig bang sabihin nun ay pagdating po sa physical uh, na 10 floors ay buo na ba yun? We don't know how much the value of these deletions are because they are not specified. Tapos po, noong phase 3, kasi ho may inspection report after every phase, ano? And this is from our audit, uh, our technical in our engineers. Ang sabi ho, phase 3, though the project is already habitable and ready for use, General cleaning of the whole premises is necessary. In the meantime, final decision on the matter is left on the agency head. Ang amin po mga engineers mismo nakita nila sa kanilang inspection kasi nag inspection naman sila na pagkakumpleto ng phase 3, no, and this was after spending about 1.5 billion, project habitable na and ready for use. And yet, Nagkaroon ng phase 4 and phase 5 na kung saan nag-appropriate ang city of Makati ng more than 1 billion pa rin. So kung nung phase 3 pa lang, as our, audit, our, our, our engineers found out, habitable and ready for use. Ang pong sinabi ko noong unang pagdinig na rinireview po talaga namin ang kanilang ginawa dahil uh, sa cursory uh, na observations namin so far, Marami na rin po kaming katanungan, marami po sa mga tanong na yan ay tinatanong ngayon dito at marami rin po kaming um, uh, mga nakita mismo dun sa kanilang inspection report. At this juncture, your honors, if I may, I would just like to point out some. No, na, ito galing sa kanila but they did not uh, mention. No, uh, in, uh, in Yung observation po na yung faces, no? One of the difficulties really why we don't even can get sense of these things at all is that the faces are not defined. Ano ba yung phase 1 na yan? Structural ba yan? Ano yung phase 2 na yan? Outfitting ba yan? Ano ang phase 3 na yan? Yan ba eh uh, finishing ba yan? We don't know. We don't know. And I don't know we uh, uh, kung ano yung kanilang mga in-evaluate na mga specs for each of these phases. But let me just point uh, some examples. No? Doon sa phase 2, ito po ay inspection report ng aming technical people. Ang sinabi nila dito sa report, it includes structural works, 
from ground floor to 11th floor. Sa phase 2 pa lang po yun. But then we also note that in all of the five phases, merong component na structural work. So ilang ulit ba tayong nag-structural work? You know, pwede po natin itanong yun. And then also in phase 2, there were items of work that were deleted. Example, elevator machine room, parapets, concrete gutter, bench, plant box, structural steel works, uh, architectural works like masonry at basement to six floors, uh, wall for elevator shaft, and so forth and so forth. So on. Marami po ito, do. But what is here is there is no change in contract cost affected in spite of all these deletions.